Hello everybody. Welcome to session 3 of Inganu Canal and let's go into the contents. Before that, let's quickly revise what are the parts and the boundaries of the Inganu Canal. The Inganu Canal is formed by a floor which is made up of the inguana ligament. In its anterior wall, it has got the internal oblique and the rect the sorry the external oblique the defect in the external oblique is called the superficial inguinal ring and the entire length of the anterior wall is covered by the skin and the fascia the posterior wall in the medial part is formed by the conjoint tendon which is the combined fibers of both the internal oblique and the transverse abdominis but in its entire length it is formed by this which is the fascia transversalis the defect in the fascia transversalis that you can see over there that is the deep inguinal ring. The roof of the inguinal canal is formed by arching fibers which are crossing over from the internal oblique origin in the inguinal canal in front backwards medially to form the conjoint tendon along with the fibers of the transverse abdominis and together the conjoint tendon will insert onto the pectin pubis. So that forms the roof. So in order to see the contents, let's remove the roof and the contents pass from the deep inguinal ring all the way to the superficial inguinal ring and let's see what are the contents. So there is not much difference between the contents in males and females. So this is what our inguinal canal looks like from the medial end. So this is a right sided canal, you are looking at it from the pubic symphysis part, right? And in males, basically it is the ilioinguinal nerve and the spermatic cord. In females too, we have the ilioinguinal nerve, but here what we have is the round ligament. So the round ligament is a ligament which gives support to the uterus, while the spermatic cord transmits structures coming and going from the testis. So that's the difference. So regarding contents, what is most important is knowing what are the contents in the spermatic cord. So let's see what are they. But first of all, we have to form, form the walls of the spermatic cord which are mainly three. So the immediate innermost covering of the spermatic cord is called the internal spermatic fascia. It is derived from the fascia transversalis. Outside this we have what is called the cremastric fascia and this is derived from the internal oblique muscle and the outermost covering of the spermatic cord is called the external spermatic fascia and this is derived from the external oblique. So the three muscles forming the walls or the three structures forming the walls of the inguinal canal are also giving off the coverings of the spermatic cord. Now let's look at the structures. The testicular artery veins which form the pampiniform plexus, lymphatics and sympathetics are one of the major contents. The ilioinguinal nerve is actually outside the spermatic cord a little onto the anterior wall. It's not actually a content of the spermatic cord. It penetrates between the internal oblique and the external oblique to reach the inguinal canal and passes out through the superficial inguinal ring. So you can't call it a content. The contents are actually these, the testicular vessels, the lymphatics and the sympathetics coming and going from the testis. Also present are the vas deferens, which is over here, as well as the artery and vein to the vas deferens, the lymphatics from to the internal iliac as well as the obliterated processes vaginalis. So all of this have to be seen in the embryology to be dealt in further detail when we talk about the coverings of the testis but for now this is enough. Uh, one more thing is you have the genital branch of the genitofemoral nerve close to the vas and we have something called the cremastric vessels and nerves which lie between the internal spermatic fascia and the cremastric fascia coverings of the inguinal canal. So these are basically the structures of the inguinal canal. I hope to make two more videos, one which will be discussing the mechanisms of the inguinal canal which prevent it from uh, giving up hernias and we will be discussing hernias and in the second, the last video I hope to give a quick review of the inguinal canal. Let's see how it goes. So till then, take care. Thank you.